What's up guys, Dante here, back giving you yet another Drama Script is Saturday. And if you're new to Drama Script is Saturday, this is a wrestling show where I give you the most noticeable things that happened on this past week in wrestling. And boy, oh boy, after I get to the ratings, I honestly do not know where to start. But with the ratings, we got Raw at 1.81 million, uh, NXT, which was on um, Sci-Fi this week due to the Olympics, of 520k and then we have aew with another 1.11 million so another rating for aew over a million and that is their third straight wednesday with them being the number one cable show on television so i there's just so much going on right now uh let's start with we're gonna just go into AEW uh, with J Jericho and the the Nick Cage match. Um, that was a, a brutal death battle thing, whatever they call it. A uh, brutal match. Chris Jericho uh, at the end of it all wound up winning in the end with the Judas effect, and now announced right after that Juventu Guerrero is back and is on AEW and he is the next trial that Chris Jericho must be in order to get his one-on-one -on -one match with MJF. So I'm happy that the Juventu Guerrero is back. I thought he retired long ago, but I guess I was wrong and he has to face Chris Jericho on next week's AEW. So that's 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 good to look forward to frankie kazarian is back on the impact zone after seven years so frankie kazarian makes his return back to the impact zone and looks like we are going to get john cena versus roman reigns at SummerSlam as the last match on the card i actually like the creative approach that wwe came to uh get to this match uh roman reigns was denying 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 he didn't want to face john cena he didn't want john to face john cena instead he was going to accept finn balor's challenge so during the contract signing uh it's roman reigns finn balor and then baron colbin who had a uh, scuffle with john cena in the earlier segment when the show started he comes out he attacks finn balor and he's about to sign the contract so it could be him versus Roman. So hopefully if, if he were able to beat Roman, he'll get his lifestyle back and more. But John Cena comes, beats Baron, Co Baron Coleman up, and John Cena signs the contract. So making it Cena versus Roman at SummerSlam. This card is awesome already looking stacked and then you had sasha banks uh make her return as well uh first helping out bianca belair and then turning on bianca belair and then beating up her so that looks like that's leading up to bianca belair versus sasha banks for the for the wrestlemania rematch uh obviously it's gonna we're gonna build up some film baller versus uh baron corbin because you know corbin cost film baller his title shot and then, you know, we're going to have Edge versus Seth Rollins. And then the one match that no one wants to see. I hope I hope this match actually starts off uh, SummerSlam. Um, Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg. So, yeah. That is your, old, your SummerSlam card. All the major matches on SummerSlam. And breaking news... Uh, WWE just released Bray Wyatt. WWE is saying it's due to budget cuts. And it's funny because WWE uh, was on an investor's call on Monday. But it's saying that Bray Wyatt is being released due to budget cuts. I do not know how true that is because it was saying that he was scheduled to make his return in August. So probably he was going to return at SummerSlam. We don't know. The words out now is that he got released due to budget cuts and he was scheduled to come back in August. I'm I'm saying that's I'm hoping it's saying that that's not true. Hopefully he still wasn't 
in his um mental state the right mental state because he was still recovering from the death of uh, his good friend Brody Lee he still needed more time off and so they probably came to an agreement to just release him I mean funnier things have happened remember um Vega and Samoa Joe were released four to three months ago and they signed new contracts and they're back with the company so like I said funny things have happened and for a side note, before I forget, uh, there was an interesting spot with a pizza cutter uh, in the Nick Cage versus Chris Jericho match. And as soon as the, the pizza cutter spot went into play, they went a commercial pitcher to pitcher. And oddly enough, coincidentally enough, it was a, domin a, do a pizza Domino's commercial, which Domino's wasn't too thrilled about. But it was all just pure coincidence that's what AEW is saying so I don't know if AEW and TNT and Domino's are going to lose that sponsorship who knows it's too early to tell but it seems that Do the Domino's camp isn't happy so yeah that's going to wrap this up for this week's Drama Script Saturday remember this is Drama Script Saturday every Saturday if you liked what you have witnessed please remember to rate comment and subscribe and until next Saturday guys I'm Dante I'm out of here Later and peace. Be safe, everyone.